Hi, I'm Parker Hamilton, and this is your portal for the world. Come on in, check us out. Language is everywhere. Montgomery County is a diverse community where people from more than 157 countries speak over 138 languages. Learning a language is more than just taking courses while you're in school. It also means making global connections to people and cultures and is increasingly important to get ahead in your career. Montgomery County Public Libraries are here to offer ways to learn new languages no matter what your reasons are for wanting to learn a new language. The library is a welcome doorway to everybody in the county for all residents. We have books, magazines, newspapers in foreign languages, as well as materials to help people learn English. There are story time programs for children. So the bilingual story time program here at the Long Branch Library is a program for children between the ages of zero and five. Um, it's in English and in Spanish, um, and it fulfills a variety of needs here in the community. We have many children who come from Spanish-speaking backgrounds that attend the program, and then we also have parents who bring their children to expose them to a new language. The kids do enjoy it. Um, they're very participatory. They're a great crowd. Um, when you ask them to participate, they all jump up. They do. They, you know, they sing along. They dance around. They do the whole thing. We've gotten very good feedback. Um, I think people are really glad that we offer this now. We make every effort to honor any request of language availability for our customers. We have our information desk and circulation desk. We have I language ID boards to identify the language that the customer speaks. Our goal is to partner with as many community groups as possible in order to make a community effort to serve the residents in the most effective way. So we have partnerships with the Gilchrist Center. They have a site in the Gaithersburg Library, and as you very well know, the Gilchrist Center is the office of for new the, the one-stop place for, for, for newcomers. Have a site in, in, in Gaithersburg Library, and they have also offered English classes, conversation classes, computer classes. We try really to partner with a lot of community organizations in the community. For online learning, Take a look at the over 70 languages available through Mango Languages. Mango also includes English courses for speakers of about 20 languages. It emphasizes conversational skills. Additionally, um, beyond the print materials in our, our physical branches, we also offer a number of resources that you can use online. If you go to books, movies, and music, and you go to language learning, you'll see a wide variety of resources that we offer. Um, we offer Mango Languages, and that covers more than 70 languages, and then there are English courses for s languages of about 20 languages. And um, it is available via the website in a browser, or you can also use a mobile app on Apple or Android devices, and you just need your library card and internet access to use that resource. Looking for online language learning for kids? Try Muzzy Online for its fun, interactive language learning games and vocabulary lessons. Don't forget to watch some Muzzy movies that help kids learn as well. A good place to find French and Spanish ebooks for kids is Tumble Books. If you're interested in learning sign language, MCPL has many great offerings. We have beginner sign language classes that adults and teens can register for at Germantown. For adults, we also have engaging book discussions in American Sign Language, for babies, some sign language is included as a part of our Born to Read story times at Bethesda. If you are looking for individual study, we have many books and DVDs that teach or are about sign language. Speaking a new language is a great way to learn, and you can do that at our conversation clubs. They are a friendly, comfortable place in which to practice speaking. We offer conversation clubs in English, French, and Spanish. Want to practice speaking by reading and discussing books? Come and enjoy our book discussions in Chinese, French, and Spanish. Looking for events? Try our fun and educational bilingual story times. We offer bilingual story times in Amharic, French, and Spanish. 
Language learning DVDs can also be checked out to learn Arabic, Chinese, English, French, German, Hebrew, Italian, and Spanish. Kids dictionaries in several languages such as Chinese, French, and Spanish can be checked out as well. There's something for everyone. Great news for library lovers in the east part of Montgomery County. After being closed for nearly one year for a refresh project, the White Oak Library is back in business. And at the official ribbon cutting, there were plenty of officials and residents on hand to kick off this new chapter for this treasured community resource. This is a very close-knit community, um, and this library obviously is a huge asset. Um, but, you know, it really needed some TLC. Um, I live very close by. My daughters would come here a lot. I would bring them over when my daughter was at White Oak Middle School um, and always, you know, wondered what can we do to enhance this library. So uh, in 2014, I actually um, asked, you know, in the HHS committee for us to incorporate this in the list to evaluate and see if it could be refreshed. and. The executive included it in 2015. When a library is closed for almost a year like this was, it feels like something's missing, um, but it's great that we had the resources to do the refresh project um, and to make it a much nicer and, and better library. So people are really going to appreciate it. The White Oak Library was originally built in 1967 and renovated 30 years ago. These latest improvements go beyond new carpet and paint. New ergonomic desks, shelving, and furniture are just a few of the upgrades patrons will see when they visit the library. On our visit, the children's room was a popular spot. I am delighted that we're opening one here, reopening this library here in White Oak. Uh, we continue to move forward, even in the really difficult budgetary challenges we've had in the past. We try to make certain that we continue on the path of something that is important for learning, for employment, but more importantly, a community space for which all people come together. Though technology has increased access to information for many, council members agree the need for community libraries has not disappeared and that they are so much more than a place where books are stored. Libraries are really evolving and I say that they're not just what we traditionally think of. They become almost like job centers in the sense that people come here to do work or to search for jobs and young people come if they need to, you know, use uh, computers. Uh, you know, our senior citizens also are able to use all this, all these different platforms. I mean, it really has evolved into a multi-purpose type of uh, asset. For more information on the county's other library refresh projects, visit the Department of General Services website. There was a huge turnout and the reopening and naming of the Connie Morella Library in Bethesda. The name change was to honor the Congresswoman. Morella represented Maryland's 8th Congressional District in the U.S. House of Representatives from 1987 to 2003. The library refresh cost close to $3.2 million. The changes include new seating areas, upgraded lighting, and new furnishings. Outside, there are new book drops and bike racks, plus so much more. The library has always been a home. My wonderful parents, who came here as children from Italy, never had the opportunity to even finish elementary school. We had a loving home, but not the books. The library was my source of all information. In fact, I have to say, the library helped raise me. I would walk to and from the library, which was about a little under two miles, do my homework there, explore the surroundings, and of course meet and enjoy friends. This is the second library in two weeks that we are reopening. We've just finished a couple of years ago the brand new Sprinkler New Silver Spring Library. We are well on the way for the construction of the Wheaton New Library as well. The number of libraries that we've either opened or refreshed has been astounding. I like the quote of Joseph Addison. He said, a human soul without education is like marble in the quarry. None of its inherent beauties come through until the skill of the polisher 
makes it shine and brings out every ornamental vein and cloud that runs through it. It is the library that is the polisher of the marble. It is the library that educates people of all ages, uh, all backgrounds, all interests. The library is located at 7400 Arlington Road in Bethesda. For more info, go to montgomerycountymd.gov slash library. Don't have time to go see that critically acclaimed documentary? None of your popular streaming services have any movies you are interested in seeing? Go to Montgomery County Public Library's website and click on Canopy, MCPL's on-demand streaming service. Select up to 10 films a month from over 30,000 movies of various genres. To access this free service, all you need is your MCPL library card. Then create a PIN number. Now you are well on your way to having an insightful evening at home watching your movie with Canopy. of this chapter. Join me next time. And until then, there's a library near you. Come on by and check us out. Earn your GED diploma, the barriers in your life fall. Take the first step and get free GED information in your area at 1 877 38 your GED or yourged.org. Earn your GED diploma and begin your brighter future. 7,000 high school students drop out every school day. That's a line of desks more than four miles long. We can keep students in school. Visit BoostUp.org and take the first step. Did you know there are more than 10,000 county government phone numbers? But there's only one number you need to remember for non-emergency calls, 311. MC311 is Montgomery County government's online telephone information system. Need information? Have a problem or complaint? Trying to locate a county government facility? Call 311. The call center is open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The website is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.